Hello, how are you? This is Aaron White with the Comic and Comic Art Division of Heritage Auctions. I hope you're well in quarantine. I'm in quarantine and you might be able to hear uh, my kid upstairs. He's watching uh, uh, Paw Patrol, very excited about that. Uh, I've been working on my quarantine facial hair. My wife says I'm starting to look like Kenneth Branagh on Wild Wild West. I don't know if that's true, maybe. Uh, but I'm as excited as my kid is about Paw Patrol today about Signature Week. It's Signature Week for the Comic and Comic Art Division of Heritage. Signature Auction, Thursday through Saturday of this week. So, very exciting. Here's some lots that I found looking through the auction today that I wanted to share. Uh, a lot of these are going to be lots that are in our Platinum session, which is the premiere session, but a few from our other sessions as well. Please take a look with me. Uh, lot 91037, John Ramita Sr., Mike Esposito, Amazing Spider-Man, number 41, splash page number one. You know this book, First Appearance of the Rhino. Uh, this is a, just a, a terrific image. The horns of the rhino, uh, big letters at the top. You see rhino at the bottom, Spider-Man's over him, the webbing in the background, the, the title balloons. Just a, an incredible piece. It's going to look great on someone's wall. I guarantee that. Uh, that's one of my favorites. Another favorite, you know I love X-Men. Uh, so lot 91039, cover art, Barry Smith, X-Men number 55. Havoc, you got this image in the front, uh, very Kirby-esque. You can see the, uh, the influence on that, the X-Men around, uh, the Kirby-esque tech at the bottom, the Kirby dots floating around. You may call it Kirby Crackle. I always called it Kirby dots. Just a, a beautiful page, or a beautiful cover, rather. Uh, speaking of beautiful, 91046, this lot, Bernie Wrightson, the Frankenstein front and papers. This piece is exquisite. Uh, you see a Frankenstein back behind uh, some trees. I think I've talked about this on a video before, but I have to bring it up again because the line of work is just so, so beautiful. It's so rich and textured. This, this page must have taken hours and hours to, to create. It's uh, just uh, gorgeous. Uh, so that's going to make a, a collector very happy. Obviously, we don't just do comic uh, art. We do comic books as well. Uh, so here's a Golden Age example, lot 92023, Captain America, number two. It's a 6-5, Captain America bursting in, saving Bucky from Hitler himself. Just uh, an incredible image. Uh, and this is the first time we see that round shield. If you remember Captain America Comics number one, he's got the triangle shield, but that was before a lawsuit from the character, the shield, changed that. Uh, We've got Batman, number 23. You guys know I love Joker covers. Batman 23 uh, is a terrific Joker cover. Batman and Joker playing chess. This is a 9.2, a near mint minus copy, lot 91060. Going to the Silver Age, Fantastic Four, number 48, the first Silver Surfer. This is lot number 91065. This copy is a 9.6, so basically a perfect copy uh, of this very important book in the hobby. I uh, love that one. Uh, speaking of uh, high-grade copies, moving to the Bronze Age, Marvel Spotlight number five. This is lot 92147. First appearance of the Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze. And we know with these covers with a lot of black ink on them, very difficult to get them in high grade because every little bend is going to cause a color break, a color loss. And uh, this book is uh, defies the odds to be as nice as it is. So we love that one. Uh, another terrific book uh, from the Bronze Age, Star Wars number one. This is lot number 96198. And I bring this book up because it's a 35 cent variant. We all know the 35 cent variant, uh, much lower distribution, difficult to find. Uh, you see some of the reprints at 35 cents. This is not one of the reprints. This is one of the real deals. Uh, so uh, this is definitely one for you Star Wars collectors you want to take a look at. Uh, another cool Bronze Age book, X-Men 101. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Phoenix. Uh, 
let me say Bronze Age. This is this is kind of a on on the cusp there, right? Um, well, I guess not. I, this is solidly 1976. This is solidly the Bronze Age. Uh, this copy, 9.8, signed by Stan Lee, Stan the Man. Uh, definitely one X Men collector is going to look at to add to their collections. Uh, moving on uh, to 1982, uh, I've mentioned this book before. Uh, and this is tough, tough, tough to find. Lot nine two one four one, graphic fantasy number one. What makes this book important? This is the first appearance of an Eric Larson creation, the Dragon. Uh, Eric Larson got together with a couple of buddies, put together this fanzine, uh, the Dragon. Later, we're going to see evolve into Savage Dragon, uh, which was a, a famous uh, property he was doing for Image. So this is a qualified, you're going to see the green label, that's because of the signatures on the book. CGC was not there to witness the signatures, therefore they say the names are written, it doesn't get the yellow label, they qualify it with a green instead. Finally, uh, moving on to the modern age, this is a recent book from 2013, you're probably thinking, well what makes that rare? It's the only copy, lot 92150, My Little Pony. Friendship is Magic, number 12, cover B, only copy ever produced. This is a 9.6. Uh, if you're into rarities, it doesn't get much more rare than that. Uh, so uh, definitely a, a cool book. Uh, these are just some examples. There's a, a ton of other really, really great, uh, great comics, comic art, video games in this auction. Uh, you're definitely going to want to uh, take a look, scroll through, uh, just just whatever you collect, whatever you like. Uh, and maybe you don't find what you're looking for in this signature auction. Be sure to st uh, stick around on Sunday for the weekly auction. We have auctions every week of the year in the comic, comic art division. Uh, so uh, if this doesn't uh, hit what you need, check on Sunday. You might find it there. If you have any questions, reach out. We'd love to hear from you. We love feedback. We want to know what you think. Uh, you can uh, reach us, uh, comics at ha.com. Uh, send us an email. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll hope to, to see you in the auction. Happy bidding. Good luck. I hope you're able to, to add a gem to your collection. Thanks much. Take care.